Hello, this is Gary Benoit. I'm the inventor of the Computer Cut program, and I'd like to welcome you to Computer Cut. To help you get started, I've put together this short introductory video to show you how easy it is to get set up with Computer Cut and be able to cut your first car. The first thing you want to do is to log in using your username and password. You should have received that from an email from us. So click Log In and then go up to download and download the computer cut windows installer if you have windows and install the computer cut program and what it'll do is it will put an icon for computer cut on your desktop here Graham. and when you first open it up it'll tell you down on the bottom invalid username and password so go up to options and set up an account and put your username and password in there. And click apply and then go to file, reconnect, and it'll connect you to the computer cut program. This is how you install the driver for the Jaguar plotter. Go to the Computer Cut Member Home and go to Support and then scroll down to see Plotter Drivers and then you'll see the link for the USB driver for the Jaguar Plotter. Click on the link and download the driver and once it downloads go ahead and open it up. Click Yes. and it'll start to install it for you. Click OK. Make sure the plotter is connected. Click OK. Click OK. And the driver is installed. Click OK. Register later and exit. And then go ahead and open up your computer cut program and go to options, setup, and plotter and under the ports you should see the Jaguar plotter listed in there right here click apply and you're ready to cut so to show you just how easy it is to select a car and cut we're gonna go to the auto window tinting database we'll go to the make a Ford and we'll pull up 18 Mustang and it'll pull it up in the window here now the red windows are your driver windows and the black is your passenger windows and the rear window and when you cut a car you don't want to cut a whole car at one time you only want to cut the front at one time and then maybe a middle if you got a four-door car and then the rear window because cutting a whole car at one time is just too much to handle. So all you do is select the front part of the car or the windows that you want to do and they're pre-arranged for a 40 inch roll. Hit the cut button and then just simply go up here and hit the cut button here and you've now cut the front part of this car. To cut the rest all you have to do is close it out, select the rear window, hit cut, and hit cut again and you now have cut a whole Mustang within minutes that's how easy it is okay a little bit about this window here this is called our plotter dialog window and this is where you cut the vehicle from so looking at the window this is the right side of your plotter this is the left side of your plotter and the patterns are cut going from right to left going this way. So this is a 40 inch plotter and these red lines right here indicate the maximum that you can go when you pull a pattern in for different widths of material. So for instance this red line is the maximum for an 18 inch roll, this is the maximum for a 20 inch roll, 24, 30, 36 and so on. So this line right here is the maximum that you can go 
for a 40 inch roll. So in other words, if this window was up here and it was above this line, when it cuts, it's not going to cut the top part of this window. So you want to make sure that any pattern that you cut is not past the red line that depicts the width of material that you have in there. Okay, a little bit about the display window here. But the first thing that you want to do when you pull up a pattern is to go down here and look in the notes and installation tips down under here. As you can see, it shows the last time we did an update to this vehicle, but more important is that we will give you tips on how to install the patterns for this particular vehicle. And what's very important, we will give you cautions of what to avoid when tinting a car. This can be very valuable because you do not want to damage a car when tinting the vehicle. A couple of other points when you're first getting started. Let me go ahead and select this window here and select it in the plotter dialog window here. Now each one of these functions over here, you can find out what they do by putting your mouse over the top of them. We'll explain it later in future videos, but if you want to play around with them, you can, it'll just put your mouse over the top and it'll tell you what they do. Now, you can move windows around however you want. If you want to rotate it, you can right click on it and it puts these handles on it and then you just click in the window and you can turn it around 360 de degrees and arrange the windows however you want. And some of the simple functions in here is I can make a copy of the window here. I can flip it vertically or horizontally here. This deletes it or I can zoom in using this function. Or and one other important point is that whenever you're cutting window film, you want to have this checked right up here, the cut on the pull. What that is, is that it will only cut the window when it's pulling it back through the plotters. So in other words, when you have the cut on the pull turned on, what will happen is it'll feed this window out and it'll start to cut from here and go along like this. And then also, and then it will feed it back and it'll start from here and it'll cut it from here. So it's only cutting it when it's pulling it back through the plotter. And that's very important because it almost totally eliminates it jamming up in the plotter on you. You can literally just hit the cut button and walk away from it and not have to worry about it jam. One final point, if you hit the cut button here, it's going to cut everything in this window, whether it's selected or not. So you don't have to hit the cut select window. If you want to cut a car, all you have to do is just select the windows here and hit the cut button and it's pre-arranged for a 40 inch roll so you just hit cut and it'll cut everything in this window. Now if I only want to cut say this window then you hit the cut select button and what it's going to do is it's going to ask you do you want to cut this window at the zero zero point and what that means is is that it's going to artificially move this window down here so it starts to cut it in the right hand corner of the plotter. If you click no, it's going to cut it exactly where it is on the window here. So it's important to know the difference between the cut button and the cut select button. So there's a quick introductory video on how to get you going. And if you have any questions, uh, give us a call at 800-348 3193 and we would be happy to help you.